Okay. Hi, this is BB. I'm here with my dog Ruby. We're playing Life is Strange and I'm doing whatever Chloe tells me to do because I'm in love with her. So here we go. Those shells um, look I'm fresh. still messing around with the sound settings on my headset. I'm trying to reduce the echo and all the stupid other noises that keep cropping up. Ruby is begging for some cake right now because I baked some and I just ate some and she thinks there still might be some for her but it has chocolate in it so she can't have any. Hmm. I could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't look too uh, long. I went to the store today. I went grocery shopping. Way heavier And I got way I more bread than I actually Ugh. need and I don't know what I'm going to do. But that wasn't the point of why I started telling the story. The point of why I'm telling the story is that I bought like a giant jug of diet soda because of course I did cool. at least not everything um, broken around here and now I really have to go to the bathroom but I just started recording Hello, because I'm stupid one. so Four more to go. that's where we're at although this junkyard is a dive I see why Chloe I mean I here. think it'd be kind of fun to have a uh, um she's a steam bump it actually your own kind like of Chloe fort where no one else will bother you because you're in a dump you know future. And it doesn't seem like this is this the kind of dump where, like, people bullshit? dump food and stuff so like that. It seems to be mostly, um, I don't know what the so word is, like, automotive waste. Like we've both gone so it probably them. doesn't smell very bad. But I don't know. Let's see what else we've got. The Bigfoots were here. So Chloe and the Vortex Club both hang out here, but I guess just not at the same time. I think this was a really clever way to let you know that you could come up this way with the white uh, footprints. I think, it, like, the pathing in here is kind of complicated because they want it to not look super obvious. Um, so I appreciate kind of the level design that goes into letting you know where Every you can go and where you can't history. go. I say that, and at the same time, there's one of these bottles that's hidden in a place that's almost fucking impossible to find. And, like, I literally, I had to use a walkthrough to find it. Oh, gross. Although that so speaks more to my ability to navigate video games ground. than the game itself. All this rusted metal makes me feel serene. <laughs> I don't know, Max. Are you goth? What does it... So, do you have to wear eyeliner to be goth? Is that a requirement? Can you be goth without I eyeliner? That way. Oops, I went the wrong way. See, this is what I'm talking about. I actually don't know where that bottle is because I thought it was over here, and I'm wrong. Um, I think it could potentially be goth as, like, kind of an anti-establishment thing to refuse to wear makeup, right? Thanks for the tip. Eat shit and live. That's funny, because normally it's eat shit and die. Obviously. Sorry, that was very obvious. Aww, birdie. This is the one. This is the one that I can almost never find. Okay. I'm sure this is a popular party pit. I think it'd be a fun place to party. Oh, but yes. We can use this one for a target. Maybe I'm a hick. I don't know. Boom. Only three bottles left. Oh no! Stop bothering me, dude. Okay, so this is. Oh my god. I'll be in the TARDIS getting my DeLorean ready is <laughs> such a fake geek thing to say. I don't understand. He So he wants to go back in time, is the implication? No worries about not going ape with me. Thought it'd be cool to take a road trip in new wheels. I'll just drive in circles around town. Um, I don't know. That's passive aggressive. To me, anyway. I'm sure he's actually trying to be genuinely nice. Right? But, like, it's okay. I just got this cool new car. I really wanted to spend some time with you because you're my best friend. I guess I'll just be here all alone. Like, he seems like... <laughs> the kind of person that, like, if you're dating and you, like, decide not to sleep with him one night, he, like, sends you a bunch of texts, like, 
<laughs> it's fine. I appreciate it. Like, you have your boundaries. I guess you just don't love me. You know, <laughs> bullshit stuff about how, like, he just loves you and he doesn't know why you don't trust him. Like, this passive aggressive bullshit. Like, just how about you just relax? You just relax and let me do my thing. So she says, I'm sorry, Warren. Hard week. I still owe you. Yes, you do. Fuck you. I don't owe you fucking anything now. Let me know if you change your mind. The implication being that you owe him, so you should go ape with him. This, and what, in what, maybe heterosexuals view this differently than I do. In what world is this an acceptable exchange? In what world is this a romantic exchange? Like, I want nothing to do with this guy. Okay, this is, oh, that's cute. Aww. Okay. Um, I forgot to make a joke about the Chloe cave last time, but retroactively, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I don't want to go that way. Okay, but I, okay. Sorry, I did that twice. That's really nauseating for me visually to have the camera rested away from me. Um, I'm sure it's worse for people watching me play. What's this? I wonder how many generations of fashion went through that one. That is an excellent question. Speaking of, I really, really need to do my laundry, but I'm doing this instead. Coming this fall, Max Caulfield, bottle That's hunter. funny. Okay. I appreciate that they ago. populated this game Talk with, like, squirrels and birds and, like, other forms of life. Um, see, if they wanted to be geeky, they could have an Indiana Jones, like, refrigerator reference here. But no. <laughs> it's all fake geek culture. I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks I at I say that, and I think I missed a cars. Legend of Zelda reference, like, way at the beginning, like a fucking idiot. But that's fine. I've never actually played any of, like, the classic PlayStation games because I couldn't wow, afford sir. one as a kid. That looks exactly what, like what the same doe from my tornado vision. Where is it? I'm blind. Oh, there it is. Um... So everything I know about, like, that dough is the actual the long-form Mario games and, like, Legend of Zelda, um, I only know secondhand. I recently got Mario 64 for my, um, DS, so I'm really excited about that. Um, but it's really hard, and I am a fake gamer and I hate things that challenge me because I can't finish them ever. That sure is a stump. You're right. So here's what's interesting and I'm sure so it's probably part of my disgusting amount of I Americanization like but I, I feel like it's dirtier and grosser to sit against an old rotten stump than it is to like sit on like an old rusted out car. Something. So what does that say? I just have to figure out the message. I'm just like, girl, you're gonna get ticks. Get up. At least she's wearing, like, long pants. She should be wearing boots. But she didn't know that she was going to a... to a dump, so I forgive her. Chloe dressed smart. Chloe's got the boots. Knowing that what scene comes in this area later, right? Um, at the very last chapter, is like... I feel really upset being here now. Even though coming at it from an innocent lens where like you don't know about it and you know that this is Chloe's sanctuary this feels very comforting and familiar to me as somebody who played in garbage a lot as a kid um this uh, I lived function. actually by the ocean um and one time in maybe my elementary bottles. school maybe we, <laughs> they set us loose on the dunes and they were like go clean up the dunes like here's a plastic bag like, go pick up garbage and, like, save the ecosystem. And we were like, cool. And, like, we were out there for maybe five minutes. <laughs> and we got called back in because people kept finding syringes in the garbage, <laughs> like, in the bushes. And they were like, this is not safe. <laughs> I don't know why they thought setting a bunch of nine-year-olds loose in, like, <laughs> places where people, like, hang out and do drugs and, like, break beer bottles and stuff was a good idea. But you live, you learn. This is the scariest thing here. Really? I guess you're right. Like, why is there just an old shirt, right? Okay. Well, okay. This shirt's scary. There's an old fucking doll. Oh, poor thing. 
They left you here all alone. Oh, Max is so compassionate. I'm like, I hate this fucking doll. It's terrifying. She feels bad for it. Because she's a good person, and I'm a bad person. All right, we got a boat. So sad to look at a grounded boat. I wonder who owned that. Right? Maybe Especially know. knowing that Arcadia Bay, the, the local fishing um, economy is collapsing, seeing someone's old boat here. Especially one that, that looks basically seaworthy. Like, it doesn't have a big hole ripped in it or anything. Um, the implication's not great. Beyond repair. Rest in peace. Maybe because I'm... You would think, as a person who's very nostalgic, and maybe because I'm a trash collector, you would think Max would want that just as, like, an aesthetic piece, right? It's hard to believe that was once on the road, filled with dozens of students. True. I always wondered what happens to old school buses. I guess they do just dump them. Oh, can I take a photo? I know that there is a photo to be taken of this, but you have to be at the right angle. There we go. So now I actually... So, obviously, I probably have mentioned this in the annotations by now. Um, or wherever. I don't actually know how to use YouTube. Um, I didn't know that I had a 15-minute limit on my videos originally um and i don't feel like verifying because this is uh, just for fun i'm not monetizing um so where uh, to find bottles maybe i, I forgot can what i was saying oh yeah so uh, hopefully my my edits between videos will be less unpredictable because i'll be able to know when i'm coming up on time accurately ruby I didn't give her any cake, so now she left. Okay. Hey, what are you doing? Come here. What's up? One more hey, good girl. Oh, hello. She's back. She's back. Ooh, got a message from Kate. She says, Max, I want to thank you for giving me such great advice about going to the police and telling them everything about Nation. I so uh, Nation. Nathan, I so appreciate you standing by me. It keeps my faith, XO. Hugs and kisses, hugs and kisses. Kate, I am on your side. Please don't mention me too much if you can. I'm already in trouble around here. <laughs> and thanks so much for talking to me this morning. I was about to have a serious cry. I needed a friend. You were there as usual. Hugs and kisses. I love you too, baby girl. I am here for you. All right. We're missing one more bottle. I think I have an idea of where it is, but I want to be able to click on as much as I can. No, we can't go out that way. I know it'll yell at me. No way. I totally remember going Aww. there when I was a kid. I love That's the depressing. Hush now the sign is just There's another a abandoned junk. boat. How's Chloe doing? She looks so good. I really appreciate just like, this is a small thing and I'm probably, oh, um, yeah, okay. Uh, the hits of blue throughout this whole, like, yeah, it's a garbage dump, but they did a really good job of making it aesthetically pleasing with, and, and thematic with, we've got blue over there, the blue boat, another blue boat. We got blue siding. Um, we got a blue rim around that sign, a uh, blue sheet of, of plywood or whatever that is, the blue uh, cords, I mean, you get it. And then next to, you know, Chloe's hair, um, and it just really creates kind of a, a nice, um, I don't know what the word is, motif for the scene. <laughs> That's my Chloe. That's my Chloe. That's fucking gay. Um, I'm going to pause it here because that I'm coming up on time. Um, yes, okay, thank you, Max. Um, here, have this weird picture. Um, and I will catch you all next time. Bye, 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 bye.